Uh, today was the reflection about what they have learned and what advice they would give to someone who is dealing with bed bugs. So I used it as a, a different way to talk about uh, what they've learned to verify their comprehension, something other than just pencil and paper. That my room is more tidy to be, to be sure that bed bugs are not going in my room. Also, I will wash more my clothes with hot water because hot water will kill the bed bugs in my, in my clothes. Also, to avoid that bed bugs. Um, and the final task was in team. They had to produce their own survival journal as if they were themselves living a um, surviving moment. For example, let's say uh, two students, it could be me and a friend going on a road trip and there's a big storm, we end up in the ditch and we're covered in snow, so all we have in the car is an old pizza box and a pen, so we're stuck there, we didn't tell anybody, so we start writing a blog like day one, we've been here for three hours, it's cold, we have no food, so they had to actually write a journal. That part was evaluated, and as a final product, we did the um, publishing part using the iPad, a bit like the Blair Witch um, Project movie. I have to be so bad right now. I drink all the milk because she's allergic, and I don't want to expire because I have smells so bad. I tried to jump so the helmet theater can go down, but she was so scared. I think it's kind of funny actually, like, what was the percentage that we can talk? <laughs> students read a novel. They're grade six regular students with two hours a week and we read the novel Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. So my this objective uh, with this uh, recap project was that student could tell me something about the book with a specific question that was covering both comprehension and appreciation and I want them to use another way of writing because sometimes in writing because it's a second language I, I feel like I wasn't getting that appreciation that little that little oomph more that they could use that they could tr transmit while they were talking is something that was that could help them talk express how they felt about the book uh, with that specific question without having the pressure of writing and without having the pressure of uh, uh, writing the word cor the words correctly or a number of words or whatever it was really more spontaneous although they had a little bit of preparation she said that if she had no good moments and it's bad that she came around and I'm here for comforting her and um, the 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 last day that's when she gonna die. I I want to be the the best friend that that I never 